Bitcoin is still consolidating above the 28k level and the longer that we are able to consolidate around these areas, the odds of Bitcoin breaking up to the upside is increasing day by day. Today, we're going to be talking about whether Bitcoin is going to be breaking out of this level and whether Bitcoin is going to be reaching these price targets or are we going to be seeing these you know, lower corrections in order for us to have some feel to go to the upside. Today, we're going to be talking about Bitcoin's you know, latest price action and also we're going to be talking about the PC data from yesterday what kind of implications do we have in terms of the crypto markets and Bitcoin so if you want to be knowing these kind of contents make sure you watch this video to the end subscribe and let's jump into the video so yeah let's really get start started so first first of all I would like to be apologizing to you guys that I was not being able to upload daily contents and the reason why is because I wasn't being numb and I was pretty busy so I was not able to upload some co these contents daily but yeah i'm back in now in thailand so yeah i'll be uploading you guys these kind of you know latest bitcoin price price analysis and i have been getting those comments that you know that you guys wanted to be seeing my videos so yeah sorry for making you guys wait and yeah so yeah let's jump into the video so what we are seeing on bitcoin right now at the current moment so as you can see over here on the four hourly chart bitcoin has formed a descending wedge as you can see over here on the charts and yes we have we have you know formed this descending you know falling wedge and the price target would be you know these areas if you were to be pulling out this in the measure move target and you were if you were to be you know, moving this to the breakout point we actually we did already you know reach the you know the target area at 29.2k zone and if you were to be going to the 29.2k zone what can we be seeing over here Yes, we are seeing, you know, some minor resistance at these levels. So, yes, this is the reason why Bitcoin has rejected this level over here at the 29.2k area. So, we did see Bitcoin you know, trying to break to the upside over here. However, it did make a correction to the downside. And the reason why is because we did have the PC data coming out. So, yeah, the, whenever you do, you know, have these kind of, you know, big, you know, events in the you know, mar macro markets, the markets, you know, tend to, you know, crack at these, you know, crucial resistance zones. And then after we had the PC data, which did came in, you know, a little bit cooler than the markets have expected, as you can see over here, I mean, this website has now been updated, but the actual data was actually 4.6%. Let me, you know, update this, you know, uh, website over here. Sorry, I was coughing. As you can see over here, the market data has come in, come, the PC data has come out a little bit cooler than the markets had expected. The markets have been expecting 4.7%, which is, you know, kind of, you know, positive for the crypto markets. It means that inflation could be coming down and the markets are anticipating that, okay, we could be seeing a rate high cut, I mean, a rate high stop at the next FOMC meeting. As you can see over here, I mean, the markets are half of more than half of the markets market participants are expecting a you know, are are expecting the Fed you know just leave the just leave the rate hikes not, and not you know not raising interest rates as it, and but on the other hand, and the fifty percent are you know still increasing you know are still expecting a twenty five percent you know basis point rate hike and you may be wondering why am I you know stuttering not stuttering but yeah like why you know acts i mean my mouth isn't that good i mean i mean you're not you may not be you know hearing me you know speaking clearly clear english than before and the reason why is because i did you know kind of you know have some adjustments in my braces to my braces so yes it's very hard very hard to, for me to talk and it, it, i do have pain constantly while talking so yes i would like to be apologizing for that and at the current moment after the pc data has come out <coughs> Bitcoin did have a you know, pretty nice rally to the upside. However, we are currently rejecting the 28.8k region yet again. So as you can see over here, the 28.8k region is a crucial resistance zone that we must be watching clearly. And if we are able to break the 28.8k zone and confirming a daily candlestick or a for, I mean, ideally a daily candlestick or we could be seeing a four hourly candlestick given that you know we are testing these regions yet again again so i do believe that if, even if we do you know confirm a four hourly candlestick above these regions i do think that this will be a confirmation of a breakout and we should be seeing the next next price targets for next price targets and if you may be wondering which price targets you should be watching and the clear zone is a is the 32k region as you can see over here I mean, this zone is a 
pretty crucial region if we were to be reaching this zone this could be a macro in a price in a pretty take profit zone if you are considering up taking your profits at these zones as you can see over here the 32k region is you know is a weekly you know macro resistance area even if you were to be going on the monthly chart you were I mean, yes, we are we are you know reflecting this area, but yeah, not so sad crucial on the on the monthly, but yeah, on the weekly time frame, this this area will be a extremely crucial area. So I will be taking you know, I mean, I am not thinking of taking any kind of profits at these levels. I am thinking of taking my profits at the forty k region as have, as we have been talking about. But yes, I will be you know, I'll be watching this area pretty pretty closely. And if we are able to break the 42k area, we should be seeing 36k, 40k, and the uh, 47k area. And if we are lucky enough, we could be breaking the 47k area, and we could be seeing a 50k Bitcoin. And next off, I would like to be sharing some. Sorry, my screen has you know gotten smaller. I would like to be sharing this kind of news. Justin, U.S. government to sell 41.5k Bitcoin, 1.118 billion connected to Silk Road in four budgets this year. So. <coughs> I mean, many of you guys may not know about this news. Basically, you know, the Silk Road is a dark net. I mean, the U.S. government has, you know, taken down this, you know, dark web, dark web a couple years ago. And they have, you know, took, taken away all the, you know, big profits from that. And apparently, they have been holding the Bitcoin the whole while. And they are finally selling at these at these levels. But, you know, they are not selling at once. And also, you <laughs> know. Someone, you know, was listening to this news. Justin, someone was listening to this news and he offered to buy, you know, Bitcoin at a 10% discount. So who knows what's going to be happening. But yeah, you must be thinking of why they are announcing these news at these, you know, price at price levels. And the reason why is because they want to be in you know, controlling the markets. So obviously, do you like to be in you know, controlling the markets? Do you like to be, you know, getting, you know, those longs stopped out? So that is the reason why they are you know, announcing these kind of news at these levels. So you must be thinking, what is, you know... What is the whale? What is the controller of the market trying to do with the markets? If you are able to understand that, if you are able to understand his, you know, his, you know, knowledge, you are, you will be able to, you know, understand how the market is moving and how are how they are maneuvering the market. So that is the reason why I have been, you know, having those kind of successful trades in the past days that we have been you know, sharing on this YouTube channel. No other influencers have been, you know, sharing these kind of, you know, one million plus one million dollar trades. And we have been pr very profitable, as you can see on my channel. I have been, you know, so transparent. And yes, and th that is the reason why I am, you know, able to, you know, I am able to nav navigate and think why those, you know, whales are trying to you know release these news at this price action and obviously they want the markets to nuke for them to buy or sell i mean for them to buy at lower levels and obviously they want those you know longs to be you know, capitulated before the markets could be going to higher price price levels oh my god my mouth hurts so much <coughs> okay so yes the next question for you guys maybe it may be sorry i was coughing again Yes, are we going to be getting a final dip before the, before we get to the upside? And as you can see over here, Bitcoin has made a in a far alley in a falling wedge, and we have also confirmed support at these levels. I mean, if we are able to you know break below the twenty seven point seven k level, we could be seeing you know another you know twenty six point seven. I will be you know expecting a twenty six point seven k Bitcoin. However, that is not happening at the current moment. It does look like Bitcoin wants to be going up. Even on the stochastic RSI, we have we have had a you know, golden cost over here, which you know tends to lead to higher price targets. And also on the daily time frame, we did have a golden cross at these levels. And also the Bollinger Bands on the daily time frame are trying to you know get closer to each other. And whenever we do see these you know, Bollinger Bands get to cl get close to each other, we do see an you know, expansion and down leads to you know, higher prices t typically. So we could be seeing you know some sort of you know more consolidation at these levels before we do see a you know higher price target so yes we nothing is confirmed at the current moment however on the you know daily time frame the 20 daily moving average the orange line as you can see over here is you know acting as in a very you know important you know strong you know bullish trend in support so if we are able if we are were to be breaking below this level it could mean that bitcoin is you know ready for a you know further correction we could be testing the 25k level but you know given that the 25k level is a crucial support zone a lot of people and a lot of people who are watching this level we could not be seeing this level i mean the bottom could have been already in the bottom could have been already in so yes you must be you know moving according to your plan and also on Ethereum, Ethereum USD, as you can see over here, 
Ethereum has already in tested support, which you know kind of you know corresponds you know the, to the 25k level for Bitcoin, as you can see over here. So Ethereum has already tested support at the 25k level, where where Bitcoin it, I mean. I mean, this area, you know, for Ethereum at the 17, 1.7k area is in corresponding to the 25k area. And if Bitcoin were to be correcting to the 25k area, it means that Ethereum is going to be breaking the support, which would not be making, you know, kind of, you know, sense. It would not be making in any kind of sense in terms of the technical structure, given that Ethereum has a pretty big market cap. And yes, sometimes Ethereum does lead the train. If lead the trend trade trend if you don't know about this even though over here when we had the significant pump to from the 18k level to the 48k level 4.8k level if everyone was leading the pump over here also if everyone was leading the pump so yes we could be seeing that yet again again over here at the at this level so that is the reason why i did not think that bitcoin is going to be hitting the 25k level but you know, we are in the weekends at the current moment, so we could be consolidating uh, these levels for a couple more days before we could be seeing further upside. So, I'm very bullish on the crypto markets. We should be seeing much more higher price targets in the coming days. But yeah, we could be consolidating this area, and I do not believe that we could we will be breaking the 26.8k level. I mean, we are having a lower probability at this moment. We, a lot of people are expecting lower prices for them to buy the dip. So that is the, another reason why I'm just expecting a you know, further pump in the markets. So yeah, I think I'll be wrapping up the video today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And also, if you want to be trading like me, I'll be recommending you guys BitKit. And the reason why is because you get a additional 30% in the trading fee discount if you sign up for my referral link. As you can see, you you guys get these in exclusive, you know, trading fees on Binance. You get a 0.1% trading fee even on other exchanges, and whereas you get a 0.042% trading fee, which is extremely free. So make sure you get these in the perks from signing up to Bicket from the description down below. You also get a 5k deposit bonus. So make sure you sign up on Bicket, and also make sure you sign up on Bybit because just from signing up and finishing level, uh, KYC level one and depositing a hundred dollars you'll you'll be eligible to get a thousand dollar you bitcoin in a long or short position so basically you'll be able to you know long or short with no absolutely no risk not putting in any margin from your own pocket pockets and you're able to choose long or short so make sure you get this perk so yeah make sure you sign up on this in the link i'll be putting this you know special link in the description down below so make sure you sign up make sure you sign up follow me on twitter and yeah look at look at those other exchanges as well so yeah, I'll be, I think I'll be wrapping up the video over here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye.